I just wanted to share this because this is amazing. We're already at a point where we can run AI locally. It, and it's a half decent one too. This is, has been trained on GPT 3.5 and it's complete open source. You can just go install it right away. This has been done before, but not this easy. I will leave a link to this GitHub in my description. Well, the description. Super easy to install and run. So once installed, just run this command and you'll see it's gonna load up. <clears throat> Done. So, um, tell me something nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> I kind of tend to get different answers every time. And this is not going to be as good as GPT 3.5 or especially 4. But it's good enough. Write me some, uh, well, a VB script that counts down from 10 and then says hello. There is the VBScript code that cuts down from 10 to 0 and then says hello. Smiley face. This is so insane. And this is running locally. It doesn't phone home, well, to my knowledge. And it doesn't need any outside resources. And as you can tell, uh, I'm running a Ryzen 9 3912 core processor. It's at 50% right now, and half the memory is used, well, until it's finished anyway. Look at this, it's amazing. Oh, this is so awesome. And this opens up a whole new can of worms because then you could do things like this use windows power automate activate it you know trigger it however you want to like it, it finds something it reads something whatever opens a command session starts up the ai <laughs> waits a while and then just asks whatever you want it to, to ask it could reference your own shit on your own system and read that, split it up, and display it. Super simple! So yeah, I just had to share this, so. <laughs> That's not how you speak. goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye to what? To whom are you <laughs> saying farewell? To you. You, Ancamero. Anyway, Friday. Have a weekend, guys. See ya.